serious ghost hunter like yourself, for the most part, it's a tedious process, isn't it? It requires a lot of patience, and it's mostly waiting for something that usually doesn't happen. That's right, that's right. But uh, when something does happen, then it's uh, well worth all the waiting. <clears throat> I should say, too, that it happens most frequently when one least expects it. Um, I've sat for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours in haunted houses, and on several occasions, when about four o'clock in the morning, we've decided, well, nothing's going to happen here, and so we pack up the apparatus, turn everything off, and settle down for a kip. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then you <laughs> plug in the apparatus again. Too late, too Good late. Good gracious. Yes, yes. There was a fascinating uh, incident uh, in the Cotswolds, house in the Cotswolds at Newark Park, not very long ago. We went down there, and for over 20 years, there have been stories of a, a rustling sound on a particular stairway. It's interesting that stairways and staircases and bedrooms are the most haunted parts of houses. And this rustling sound and the sound of whispering had been reported in footsteps, which is the commonest of all recorded phenomena in houses, uh, had been reported time after time. And we went down there, and of course we concentrated on this particular landing, and we sat and we sat and we sat and we sat and we sat, and then we did hear a rustling sound. And of course, immediately you think it uh, has a natural explanation. We looked everywhere, we couldn't find any explanation for it. But we had sat for a long time, and so we sat and had some refreshments, and we thought, now what should we do? And we decided to sit again at the same place with a recording running, recording apparatus running, and we thought we'd have a camera loaded with infrared film, takes photograph in darkness, pointed at the spot. And if we heard the rustling again, we take a photograph to see whether there's anything on it. So we sat, and 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 we sat, just nothing at all. And you can't do anything, can you? You can't read or oh, no, have a drink no, no, or whatever? No, you can't make a noise at all. No, no, no. We never, never drink anyway on these things. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, you um, start seeing things after what did you do? <laughs> absolutely. And after, oh, I don't know, three or four hours, we decided, well, nothing's going to happen here, and so we went down and uh, had some sandwiches, and we thought, well, we'll just run the recording through, because we, we didn't take a photograph, because we hadn't heard anything, but we'd had the recording running, and we ran it through, and there are two voices on it. There's a man's voice that says, it's looking, and a woman's voice says, it's looking at us, and it's almost as if they're referring to the lens of the camera. But nobody... Certainly nobody spoke. I was nearer to these other people than you. I am to you. Quite impossible for anyone to have done it. What uh, were the voices like? They were very faint. Well, yes, they, they sounded... You could distinguish that one was a male and one was female. But they were a sort of... It's looking. It's looking at us. And we, nobody could have tampered with the tape afterwards? Oh, no, no. It was, we, we simply walked down and had the sandwiches and turned it on.